Can you please introduce us for yourself? Welcome to HHS Today. I'm your host, Ben Leibowitz. We have a packed show for you today, so enjoy. As you all know, last Wednesday there was a school walkout to honor the students in Parkville, Florida. Kinsey Rolf attended and brought a camera from HHS TV. Walking out shows our support to those who have suffered from school shootings, and this walk also shows what a school looks like without kids. All of us are outside right now, but the majority of us, no one's inside. And when we leave, we honor everyone who's died, not just in Parkland, but everyone who's ever died in a school shooting. And our temporary absence from school shows our permanent absence from everyone who's ever died in a school shooting. So I ask you now to please join me in this peaceful walk to show we will not accept silence when it comes to our very safety at school. So every minute I'll be announcing a student's name from Parkland who died and we will continue to walk around. So please take the time to read about every student and teacher. Thank you to all the students for making it such a successful and meaningful event. And that was only a short clip from the walkout. To see the rest, you can check out the full segment on HHS.today along with other web-only content. Next, we have a fun Minute with the Principal. I think the core strength of HHS is the strengthiness of the students. And I mean that in an involvement way. How long have you been doing this? Five and a half years? Five and a half. Almost six. I've been doing it five and a half minutes. Here we go. As the principal, or, or some would say leader of, of HHS, I find it very important to get up there and mix it up with the students and, and watch what they're doing and learning great things every day. A point, a point, up back to three. A point, a point, up back to Cut to skip to skip to skip to That's it! I do find that I get a lot of respect from the students. I believe that they have instinctual understanding of what I do. Yes, that was pretty close. This move? Yes, and up, turn, woo! Like that. Similar, right? Yeah. Very similar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Consideration for each other is valued here, as well as understanding for the admiration for the work of the principal. There's a lot of responsibility and dignity that goes with this job. Mr. Bishop has some serious moves. Next, let's take a look at a presentation given to us by the Japanese students that came to shadow our classmates. Caravan is becoming more and more popular. Have you ever heard of Caravan? No. no? Uh, please look at these images. Uh, these are Caravan. All of these are colorful and they look like anime characters. So, Caravan means character bento. Now I want to go to Japan. And that was also just a piece of the entire presentation, which was filmed by RHN. So stop by our website to see the whole video. Next, let's take a look at perhaps after school this week. Okay, we have our first day of track today. Hi, uh, I'm about to go to track. Uh, first practice of the season, I'm really excited. I'm doing track right now. I'm working on writing curriculum during our uh, departmental meeting time. Is that really what you're working on? Yes, Lizzie, it is. Yeah. Joe, what are we doing after school today? Spring track, of course. Track season, let's go! Uh, I'm supposed to be working on curriculum and evidence collection, but really, I'm going to start playing Fortnite. And that was just after school on Monday. If you ever see our cameras in or after school, feel free to stop by, and we could show you a little behind the scenes action. Finally, we have the question of the day with a super fun question. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? If animals could talk, I think squirrels would be the rudest just because they're sitting and staring and judging us all the time. I think the rudest animal would be the cantaloupe because they like to eat people. Um, alligators because they bite people. A dog because they bark a lot so they go like bark bark. Snakes because they're snaky. And vicious. A cat. Why? Because uh, I don't like them. A rhino. Okay, so mongoose would be the rudest animal if they could talk because they hunt cobras. It'd have to be a llama because they spit out a lot of people. Squirrels because everyone always runs over them and they get mad. A shrew because they're so shrewd. <laughs> would probably have to be a raccoon because they're always, you know, rubbing. Uh, rummaging through people's trash. Um, giraffes, because they're super tall and would just make you feel bad about being short. Cats, 
Because our cats don't like us. <laughs> Every cat ever. <laughs> Those were some fun answers. Really, really fun. And now for Have You Seen This? Today, we are here in the HHS TV studios with Miss Yumina. Do you know why you're here today? My curiosity is at peak level here, why I'm here, but happy to be here. Well, we have something that happened for this episode that has never happened before. We have had a staff member win. Have you seen this? Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a while ago. <laughs> was it? Well, you had a break. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you. Beautiful. I will be using this for sure. And that's all we got for you today. Want more HHS Today? Visit our webpage at hhs.today to see extra web-only content, extended segments of the Japanese visit, and school walkout. With that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.